Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, and hopefully you guys are all ready for hopefully a pretty good day when it comes to the PlayStation 5 restocks. We should actually have quite a few different things on going all throughout today. We should have hopefully a lot of different stock going on when it comes to restocks, when it comes to movement, when it comes to pretty much everything underneath the sun. Now, we actually, I think we actually will be having some, like, confirmed stuff, I believe, as well, that should be ongoing throughout today. Some, like, locations still have some stuff. Like, we have, we got a lot of stuff. I'll just make sure I have it all full up for you guys. But, hopefully you guys are going to have a good day. We're getting pretty close to the Thanksgiving Eve, and as well, we're going to probably have a lot of Black Friday stuff, too. So, also keep that in mind. If I get more updates, I may throw some quick videos on the channel, or quick some updates, whatever, on it. But, uh, we have a lot of things to go to talk about, even as of today. So... Sit back, relax, and enjoy yourselves, and as well, get ready for Thanksgiving. If you guys celebrate tomorrow, make sure you guys are subscribed. We're actually super close to 60k, I think it rounds up to that one, so if you guys want to just be nice and throw in the nice little pity sub, feel free to, or just do that to be entered on in for the PS5, Xbox, or $500 cash giveaway. You guys get to pick yourself. It'll be ending probably, I think, in the nearish, in their ish future. We have the Twitter and Twitch room down below for bonus entries. We have the Target links as well, if you guys want to check in your local stores, and same thing too with the Amazon as well. So, a lot of stuff to talk about. So let's go and talk about it. Very first and foremost, I want to remind folks that we were actually discussing this and asking about this yesterday. But it did kind of seem like a lot of folks were actually able to go and get their console invitations. So what does that mean is that we've actually been now seeing folks, number one, receiving their consoles. So at least we know that Amazon, thank God, is a little bit more of a legit place to get your consoles, thankfully, so far still. So big thumbs up with that. But as well, we've also been apparently still seeing a few different emails being sent on out. Some folks receiving their emails have had it sold out, which is kind of just unfortunate. And then some folks have able been still able to check out pretty instantly with all their drops. So as a reminder, we do have all the Amazon links down below in case you just want to check out all the consoles. This will be for the, uh, basically this was ongoing now for a few days though. We typically see the drops only last for a few days in general anyway. Uh, so it might be a little bit more on the toned down and calm down version, just so you guys know. So maybe some places might be running out of stock, etc. Oh, we actually might even see maybe an additional reflux of new stock showing up as well. But basically, if you guys have not done so already, make sure you guys request your invitation. We'll probably see another drop in the next few weeks anyway. But this one does seem like it's on more of the tail end egg legs of people getting their stock. But this is also up for almost all of the consoles, such as the God of War Ragnarok bundles, the Digital Edition bundles the Horizon Forbidden West bundles, and all these other things too as well, tied on in, but like I said, if you guys want to, check those on out, if you guys would want to as well, and even add some folks you know, out here, finally going and getting their console over here from Amazon, which is always nice to go and see, and well, it's like 500 bucks, just a nice, normal, easy console, always fun to see over there. Now as well, we've also still been seeing the stuff for people just kind of thrown in the casual, like, hey, Get my PS5 from Target. Doesn't hurt to ask whenever you shop at one. They keep them up in the back, too, as well. And, of course, we have the same. Purchased online and got it within an hour with the pickup, too, as well. And the other folks saying, yeah, just got one from Target, too. So, as well, we just keep on linking the Target links down below. Through the affiliates, we just keep on seeing folks occasionally just going and getting one, getting the hookup, and all that stuff. So, if you guys still want to, check on the Target links down below. Or if you guys just want to call your store, or if you're just showing up there anyway, maybe for some Thanksgiving food, last minute Christmas shopping, or Black Friday coming up in these next few days, I'd probably say just be nice to the employees, ask around, and we have been seeing loads of folks everywhere getting stock. I also, also keep on mentioning too, basically when it has the like limited stock or whatever that does go and show up, be on the lookout for that. Like I think that's one of the bigger things to go and note and look at. Go and get that. You guys should be good. And as we go and get that, we get the hookup. So all around, I think a pretty big thumbs up, at least in my mind, as we're going from there. Now, when it also does come up with other stock, I want to remind you guys, the Target still does have one of the best Xbox Series S deals. This basically means that they're selling a $200, it's technically $250, I'll have it linked down below, $250 Xbox Series S, but that also does have a five or 50, I wish it was five, $50 gift card too as well. So basically it's a $200 buy just in case you guys want an easy present for yourself or your kids or family, brother or whatever. I'd say maybe go for that linked down below as well on top of Target. Now on the same thing too, we actually I think should be having some sort of a Walmart drop today from some of the initial early links we had so far when it comes to these or actually might just be also available as of right this second, which is why it's kind of like a 50-50. But if you guys want to, uh, the, basically, the Walmart consoles were uh, supposedly supposed to have a proper, legit drop as of today. 
uh, right before you know Black Friday and such, which will remind, remind you guys in a separate video play today. But basically for this one, Walmart was supposed to have a secondary drop. I do believe, as you guys can see over here, depending on when you see this video throughout the day or if you get unlucky or if I get unlucky timing-wise, basically there should still be stock available online for Walmart store locations. So you guys can see they do have the God of War Ragnarok bundle. I believe we were also seeing some links with the weird, like this website's always so far weird to see. But I believe we're also seeing some PlayStation 5 digitals that were also available on retail. So make sure it's a proper retail price. Like this counts right here. This is retail. $5.59. This is proper retail. So keep that in mind. So good stuff. Good thumbs up at that one. So either be on the lookout for a Walmart Plus drop in the case they want to change the website throughout the day. I usually make these a little bit earlier on the day. Uh, so be on the lookout. If they do, it might be a Walmart Plus drop how they did before. Where they did a Walmart Plus for the first few hours, then a public drop right after for pretty much everyone else. So as we're watching for the stock and seeing all this stock, I would say check on one, check on Lime, see if Walmart got the good stuff. Obviously do the Amazon and Target stuff first if you guys want. Uh, but basically Walmart might have the hookup as of just today for just nice, normal, easy consoles as you guys can like you know literally see right there and add a cart and get it. Or as well, we also have still been seeing a lot of reports of them having stock in stores. We've got a lot of reports of them just kind of overall kill, like chilling just casually. Uh, you just ask employees, you go to the little tech area, you just walk in and out in some stock. But I think there's also some more planned stuff on the 25th, maybe for a proper drop. We'll maybe have another separate video for that, probably maybe later on today. So also keep that in mind. But basically, Walmart's still looking good, feeling snazzy and all of that. And this, hopefully we'll have some more ways for it. Be on the lookout today around noon and around 7 p.m. if they also do the same times. But like I said, it might just be available just for the day. But they might just have enough available stock. I'm just going to let it ride and see what happens. Now... I want to remind you guys, too, when it comes to Best Buy, we've had the double whammy where we have both walk-ins and also potential online. So we've had some, some folks saying, hey, PlayStation 5 available for walk-ins at Best Buy Brookfield, Wisconsin, just in case anyone in the area is looking. And as well, we've also seen a lot of these locations with just big boy stocks, as we've kind of covered up over here. So we were anticipating two things. Number one, we keep on hearing rumors of the walk-in events. We've covered that the past few days. So either maybe throughout the next like three or four days, they may be hoarding some stock for the potential like Black Friday in store, or Cyber Monday in store, or whatever. As of right now, we still don't have any full-on notice if they're going to be doing an online restock. They did also just do some GPUs as well, so I'm not sure if that's corresponding or not. But basically, either you guys may want to check your local Best Buy stores, maybe ask in advance and see if you can kind of somehow sneak one of these consoles before anyone else goes and gets them or if they go online. Or as well, it also all might just be a purely online drop. But like we've even shown you guys in a second ago, we've have been seeing folks just walk into stores, asking employees, and somehow getting the checkout for their stock as well. So just also keep that in mind in case you guys would like to. But basically, Best Buy is looking pretty good as well. So good stuff with that. Now, some quick little side updates, too, besides all these big boys. We also do have the GameStop, too, really quickly. Don't forget that GameStop still has been getting many, many reports of them having stock available, extra consoles still available, bundles available, non-bundles too, and I think GameStop's probably one of the better places to also look to. Basically, I think if you checked all five of your local areas, such as Walmart, Target, Best Buy, and except like all these pretty much put together, then you guys would probably have a good chance to get your consoles and get the hookup, and ideally life will be pretty nice and pretty chill. So check those on out if you guys want. Now to kind of wind down quick too as well, we still have a few more of the PlayStation 5s available here in Ant Online. If you guys want to check out their digital bundle available with usually two-day shipping and all the other consoles too are as well on their bundles are all available. Not the world's worst bundles if you guys don't mind the controllers. I don't think they're not that bad at the end of the day. So just keep that in mind in case you guys want some stock available. So all around good, looking good with Ant Online. Now don't forget too as well, we also still do have the PlayStation Directs, which also if you guys want to sign up for the PlayStation VR 2, definitely make sure you guys are registered. But as well, they still do have the God of War digital bundles available on Ant Online, and same with the disc editions too. Kind of same with like the Walmart, although you can't have really have a gift card with these. But so letting you guys know these are still options and still do have some stock available. Now, for other drops, too, as well, don't forget, we're also watching the Costco side, which is very much overdue both for in-stores and online for drops. Some of these places might do some Black Friday stuff. Uh, same thing, too, with the PC Richards and Indorma's very overdue for online. Same with Gamefly, too, as well. Very overdue online. Now, when it comes to other very stock, too, as well, don't forget about the Myers, Fred Myers, Kroger's. Myers has done online drops and also local in-store pickups for Black Fridays the past few times. So, we'll let you guys know if there's any website updates or talks with it in the near future. 
That's the same thing too as well for BJ's Wholesalers, for Kroger's, and all that. Check your apps or call the stores and see if there's any stock available. Same with Staples as well. New Wave 2 on the overdue side, Military Online also on the overdue side, and also for in-stores. Verizon still has been getting reports of them having in-stock for in-stores or online for your local areas, depending on the rep in stock, and kind of, that's pretty much about it. So make sure you guys are definitely checking the Amazon links for the signups, the Target links for the local areas, and make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for our brand new $500 Xbox or normal cash PS5 giveaway. So make sure you guys are doing that in the Twitter and Twitch stream down below for bonus entries, and I appreciate you guys all so much for watching here the first place.